The issue is simple. If I had not appeared, courtesy the petitions I have appeared before, nobody would have known the truth. There were instances whereby it is the petitioners that should ask for forgiveness from me. In this case, the petition has not been heard. In this case, there are a lot of publications given against me. In this case, it's an issue that centers around betrayal of trust. There is so much to learn in it. But my Lord, for one to write a petition with terrible abuses, to be granting interviews with terrible sayings against me, I have not said anything. And yet, I'm just going to say, come and ask for forgiveness, my Lord. Even in the sight of God Almighty, that is wrong. What is right in the sight of God Almighty is to know, my Lord, if, if I know I have the right, I, I have every reason to ask for forgiveness from him, then, my Lord, I will say, I do. He came to Kuja prison. He said he didn't come to see me. I said, oh, how are you? We greeted, how is your wife? We greeted, his wife is here. I am, my Lord, the type, believe me, that has the heart to look at the enemy and sit with him. I'm not calling him enemy, but in this case, it is looking at the truth and calling the truth that matters. If, in, if he writes his petition and I don't have evidence to prove myself, and I know whenever I talk I'm on oath, certainly why not? Whatever he does to me, his father still remains my father. It's a matter of time. Whatever he does not understand today, tomorrow will come. He will surely get it understood. And one of the tomorrows is here, my Lord. So to me, whether he takes me to be an enemy or not, the brother position he was, right when he was a cadet in NDA, is still the same way as I'm seeing him. It's still the same way, no change whatsoever. There are many more. But to say, Mustafa, you are guilty. In which, in which case? So my Lord, with all respect, I said before in Lagos, like you rightly quoted me, I ask for forgiveness on issues. Even on behalf of my staff, there are several things I do not know. Like the case that came up today on the, uh, regarding Mohammed Abacha and one Umar, Abu Bakr Umar. Yes, it's the police under me that did the arrest. He said Rogers tortured him. But did I know when he was arrested? Did I order Rogers to beat him? What really happened? At the end of the case, when witnesses are heard, that petitioner will still come and say, I'm sorry. But he's not heard. He wrote what only he perceived. As far as my concern, my Lord, my, my heart is large. It is accepting, it is forgiven. But whosoever accuses me, I leave him to God. And I wish him well. No enmity whatsoever whatsoever every human being is a brother after all everything in life is undulating nothing is straight it is the undulating nature of life and the earth itself that makes men to learn depression and hide you learn from the two and that's why we're here Four seven one and six two four. Major Bilamin Musa Mohammed and Mr. I M Mohammed Mekudi. Petitioner present will do it. Appearances. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, today we'll be continuing with the trials and tribulations of Major Hamza al-Mustafa. Today is a case between Major Biliamo Mohammed and one Mr. I. M. Mohammed Mekudi. Um, they claim to be brothers or cousins to Major Hamza al-Mustafa and uh, they have a petition to present against Major Hamza al-Mustafa. It's not very clear what the exact issue is, but there was a lot of mix-up. And at the end of the day, um, the case today seemed more like uh, family disputes. Major Hamza Mustafa is being represented by Bala Na'ala, 
very brilliant lawyer from Kebbi State who is currently a serving senator and uh, today's proceedings was recorded on the 7th of July 2001 but we didn't quite catch his name here as already mentioned Major Hamza Mustafa was the former chief security officer to the late head of state general Sani Abacha from 17th November 1993 to 8 June 1998 in his role, he was responsible for the security of the regime and established a number of elite military security organizations. General Sani Abacha died on 8th June 1998. Following his death, Al Mustafa assembled the top military hierarchy in order to avoid a succession crisis. General Abdul Salami Abubakar emerged as head of state on 9th June 1998, and Al Mustafa was removed from office and subsequently arrested. Following the arrest of Al Mustafa, he was held and questioned during the Oputa panel and dragged before the panel for several cases of human rights violations, rightly or wrongly. And today is one of those cases involving his family members. In October 1998, Al Mustafa was charged with the June 1996 Kudirat Abiola murder wife of the presidential candidate MKO Abiola. At the trial, the soldier Sergeant Barnabas Jabila, also known as Sergeant Rogers, said he was obeying orders from his superior Al Mustafa to carry out the assassination. Al Mustafa and four others were also charged in the 1996 attempt to murder Alex Ibru, publisher of The Guardian and Abacha's Minister of Internal Affairs. Another charge was laid against Al Mustafa for the attempted murder of former chief of naval staff Isaac Pobeni. I want to inform your honorable commission that I, I don't have lawyer, but I'm only here to, today to say the truth and nothing but the truth. Because my said petition was originally originated by Major Bilayamin Muhammad standing by my side. He is the initiator of that my said petition. So as a result of which, uh, after a lot of problems took place, uh, as regards to that my said petition, I, we now came to the conclusion, I, my mother, my sisters and brothers, my immediate family in my house, that I should just have to come and say and tell the world the truth. That's what I'm doing now. Major Biliamu Mohammed was in 1998 found guilty and sentenced to a total of 19 years for alleged treason, conspiracy to commit treason, breach of trust, conspiracy to commit breach of trust, and making false documents by the Special Military Tribunal headed by the late General Victor Malu. Major Biliamu was the administrative officer at the presidency in 1997 when the coup was uncovered. In 2006, Major Mohammed received an official pardon from the federal government for his involvement in the botched coup of 1997. The one he read should be taken as his evidence. What about the other one? That is 624. 47 uh, your, your, your lordship, if I understood him correctly, I don't think that is what he said. Well, uh, from what happens in the witness box, there uh, you see they don't have to. You don't seem they are <laughs> they are on talking terms or they, they they are pursuing. Why not deal the thing one by one? Instead as my lord, as my lord pleases. Yes, my lord. So, my, my lord, let's um, begin with. Uh, yes, my lord. Sir. My Lord, I, I, I just want to, I want us to clarify this issue before proceeding, please. Because the three petitions forwarded to this Honorable Commission was initiated by Major Bilyaminu. My own petition, my said petition, his father's petition, and his, which he petitioned directly to Major Al Musafa. My own petition, he, I, have, I had never come to meet him to help me that I want to petition Major Musafa or anybody. Or even General Abacha, the late CNC. He, what happened was, 
I was arrested. I was arrested in connection with December 97, 98 coup. And I was, I was arrested because of his implication, his involvement, his involvement in that in the said coup. I was in Kaduna when they announced the coup. He is my brother, and our relationship with him is of cousins. Contrary to what I said, that he is my own senior brother. And my father, his, uh, his father, how he petitioned, how he, the way he put up the petition that uh, even he, there was a, 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 a caption which he made mention that uh, this honorable commission, I appeal to this honor, honorable commission to compel Major Al Mustafa to apologize to me and my family verbally or in writing for one, the illegal arrest and detention of my ex father, two, the looting and vandalization of my properties and our family properties all sort of things, you know, harassing and intimidating of our family. After my appearance before this Honorable Commission in Kano, after a month, Major Bilyaminu now came and initiated another story, which he write with his pen, with his paper, in the form of question and answer, question and answer. He now uses my picture and my name and take it to pressmen. Uh, comment paper and other sort of papers. He they now published that story, credited me that directly as if I'm the one that granted the interview and the content therein, all those things he made mention, I d which I does not know. Because he claimed that uh, Al Mustafa sent some securities to arrest his mother and other sort of arrest, torture, which he claimed to have you know, been committed then. So as a result, I have to come and see him. I met him in his office. I sat down before him that Yaya, I, because I called him Yaya, please, why publishing this kind of things? Hence, we have already petitioned. In fact, I included myself so that it will not look as if I'm, I'm trying to embarrass him. I, now, I told him that, why, please? We have already petitioned. We have this problem before Human Rights Violation Investigation Commission. Why do you feel like making publication? You know, granting some interviews, which is not even to my knowledge, without my consent. That time he started telling me a lot of things that some people came to him uh, and even gave their support. He made mention of Can, we make, progress? Can we make progress? All these addresses are right. Exactly. So, Separate the cases. So, yes, so as far as... My Lord, the problem my Lord. is separating the cases that... As earlier mentioned, the Human Rights Violation Investigation Commission, popularly called the Uputa Panel, was set up by the Olusha Gunabasanjo administration in 2000 to investigate human rights abuses dating back to the military coup of January 15, 1966, up until May 28, 1999, the day before the last military handover to civilians. The body members constituted of Chief Shuku Difu Oputa, a retired Supreme Court Justice as the Chairman, Reverend Father Matthew Cooker as Secretary, Mrs. Elizabeth Pam, who happens to be the widow of one of the slain officers of the 1966 coup, Colonel Pam, Dr. Mudiaga Oji, Barrister Bala Ngilari, Mrs. Mudube Ariola and Alahaji Adamu Lawal Bamali. Out of the entire thing, namely that you, what you are saying is that the petition you read in Kano was not your own petition. Yes, the my petition Lord. was written by Billy Aminu and his lawyers, please. and given to you, and given to your the man you purported to be your father, because as it is now. Even the man you presented as your father, we are not sure whether he's your father. He is not my own real father. He, he is his he, 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 own Major okay, Bilal's so father and my own father, we are of the same father. So he is more of my uncle. Okay, so yes, all sir. that, what you are saying now is that everything you said in Kano was not true. Was not true. And I, I sincerely apologize. I sincerely apologize. I sincerely apologize. So this honorable commission for any inconveniences my said petition and subsequent withdrawal which i'm withdrawing now might have caused the commission 
Because if I fail to tell the truth, my conscience will never remain clear. Because already I have been seeking for forgiveness from the Almighty Allah. Because I believe He is the most forgiving, most merciful, and He will forgive me. And I appeal to Nigerians, to prominent and innocent Nigerians, I offended in the course of fighting the battle for Mejubili Aminu. And he's, he's standing before me. All what I'm saying now, if he thinks I'm not saying the truth and I'm not saying the right thing, he should please speak or prove. Sorry, my lord. Please because please. after Sorry. which the, I denied everything. In, I, again, I called pressmen and I told them, the gentlemen of the press, I told my, them. My good, the it's all right. Hold on. Before, please, please wait. Uh, my lord, if, if I may assist the commission, he came here a few minutes ago and whispered the commission council. That because uh, he's going around in circles, and my lord may not quite appreciate what he's trying to say. I, I think the crux of uh, what he's saying is that he's being prevented from saying st saying things as they are. That he has many revela revelations to make, and the commission should hear him out. All these things are right until we know which case we are hearing. What yes. case are we hearing? My good, are is you it, enjoying your? Is it a uh, four seven one or two six four? My lord, I say separate sorry, uh, sorry, please, Mrs. Wando, separate please, sorry. Cases are sorry. No good way, yeah. My lord, my lord, I'm very, very sorry to disturb the sitting of the commission. This is a very simple, straightforward matter. There is no problem with this matter. I'm Which sorry. Which one? There are two cases. Which one is simple? No, my lord, all of them are simple. All of them. My lord, I'm, I'm speaking with all degree of res responsibility and in the spirit of reconciliation. My lord, I'm aware of what is happening. My lord will remember that in Kano, I did specifically tender the second petition and then the commission was literally brought to standstill determining which petition was filed and which one was withdrawn, if my lord can remember vividly. But both Mustafa and uh, Major BM and uh, Maikudi are like relations because Mustafa has always considered their father as his own father. It is after the testimony in Kano and I'm happy that that part I played, and I mentioned it in Kano, that even if the commission fails to reconcile the two, the facts that we are going to bring may go back to their family for the purpose of reconciliation. Happily, I have achieved that. The father and the mother of Biliamino have called, they have sat down, they have decided that they will close this petition. And I remember vividly that the council to Biliamino even told this commission that they want to withdraw. So it is from that standpoint that the commission should know that from the spirit of reconciliation which the parents have initiated, which I hope will even have more spiritual backing, I stand to be corrected, then the commission's uh, position will take care of the situation. But if they are not, we are prepared to go on. Ask them, no, 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 lawyers, ask them, leave the lawyers, leave the microphone alone. Ask them whether they have settled the parties. Uh, Two of you, my lord, and your we, have, we have not settled. Family. We have not settled yet. We have not settled because uh, well, after he know? after his publication, which he purported he fabricated those stories, which was credited to me as if I I was the one that met at, that said those things. Okay, uh, when I come to protest to tell him that, sir, why please? He Did you hear what organized, the lawyer said? He organized that, that he your family met, sir. Is that not what he said? Did you hear what the lawyer said? After after I I made that testimony, with utmost respect, my lord, you know, my lord. Major Bilianulu beat me. He tortured me. I received threat, direct and indirect threat from Major Bilianulu. My lord, Bilianu. my lord for us to make progress in this me matter, my lord, because of those all those kind of things that I must just have to comply with what he is doing. My lord, I think, I think, like I rightly pointed out, it is a dispute between two brothers that they can sort out. It is not for the petition to start sorting it out for them. Why right? doesn't the other one talk? Give him the no, my lord, That's exactly what I'm coming to, that I should be given a chance to talk. Uh, what is the position? You are like a father to him. Uh, my what lord. What is the position? I personally instructed my council to withdraw this petition. <laughs> I did this because uh, it is already clear before your lordship that uh, several witnesses that appeared before this commission uh, testified that uh, there was 
nobody, and I repeat, nobody that was mutilated like myself during the 97 coup saga. Uh, the president of the special military tribunal, Jos, General Victor Malu, came before you and testified, same, my lord. <laughs> now, in the, in the truth, in the truth, now, my lord, My Lord, I was released from the prison 4th March 1999. And subsequently, this commission was established. Now, with the freshness of my case in my mind and in the mind of the members of my entire family, we were compelled to forward our petition before the commission. Time is the greatest healer. And thank God we are alive to say our own part of the story today. My Lord, the essence of establishing this commission, if I'm not mistaken, in terms of your in line with your terms of reference, is to investigate human rights abuses and reconcile aggrieved parties. Again, my Lord, to extend reparation, compensation, and or rehabilitation of the victims. Now, my Lord, having told you exactly that people have come before this commission to testify regarding my own torture and dehumanization, and the fact that well-meaning Nigerians, elders, my father inclusive, have withdrawn their own and advised that I withdraw mine, I decided to withdraw my petition to leave everything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> now, my Lord, it is glaring that there is virtually nothing anybody can do. You cannot turn back the hand of a clock, my Lord. What had happened had happened. And at this juncture, it will be difficult, my Lord, for me to come forward and say, I am presenting my petition before you with the aim of vengeance. I am not here for the mosaic law of an eye for an eye. That is not what brought me here, my Lord. I am not for vengeance. God has fought the battle for me. I, I decided to leave everything in the hand of Allah. What my cousin is saying is best explained in the house. I cannot drag the family name all over the world. I am not a small boy. All right. What is his position? Number what? His own is number what? So that we can... My lord, his own is 471. 471. Yes, my lord. Then this particular petition gives us a behind-the-curtains view of what a failed court attempt looks like. Families have now risen against each other. There's talk of intimidation and imprisonment and torture. Sorry, my lord. Are you opposing withdrawal 471? We are not opposing the withdrawal of the petition. But my lord, please, in the interest of permanent reconciliation, we only want to put one record straight, subject to your permission. But if my lord is of the opinion that it's not necessary, we leave it. But it's very, very now, important. If you're not opposing and nobody's opposing and they struck out, you can still reconcile. Yes. And it's no longer on our list. No, no. My, lord, my lord will have seen the touch of bone again from the petitioner. And that aspect too will be interested. I am interested in that aspect, though I'm not. Uh... Now, your brother said he's withdrawing his own petition. Are you withdrawing yours too? Yes. My lord, I had already sent my letter of withdrawal. So Ever both of you now, are withdrawing. I'm withdrawing, now, sir. That doesn't preclude you going on to settle any other absent. He refused to settle with me. Even his father is here and he's alive. When he he tortured me, he 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 hold used it, hold it. he used I eyes, he you are and beat me. They could not call me and and find out something. Uh, hold on, can we? They did not call me. Where well, I'm living in my different family house over there, they are there living, staying in their own 
all he do is he uses me he has been using me okay. since 1997 cool. he made me to go and testify on 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 something that is not true he has my lord my lord His father, if his father will say the truth, he will testify that it's he, Major Bilianinu, that writes that my petition. No, no, no. And even the father, when he wrote his own, when we took the draft to the computer, computers. Hold it. My lord, you are, you are the father of these two? No, yes, or father of one of them? Yes, sir. You are the father of the two? I'm the father of B.M. Mohammed. This is the... Yeah. Hold it. This is the son of my... Elder brother, Al Had Ilias Mohammed. I and his father are of the same family. Oh, you are the uncle of the younger one. Yes. And sir. your father of the elder one. Yes, yes sir. Uh -huh. Now, why can't you settle this dispute at home? Uh, he, I, he has not told. There was nothing like quarrel between two of them. Uh, the only thing is that he. No, the, only, okay. <laughs> the only thing is that he is working with uh, under my brother's uh, this company then he always fight with every staff of the uh, <laughs> company my brother gave him later that he doesn't want he feel to, that he doesn't want to continue see? then my lord i thought my lord my lord uh, excuse me my lord, with utmost respect, my lord. Can we, uh, hold on, can we my make lord, a bit of... My lord, please, please, if I may be heard, please. I'm alive, I'm dead. I'm alive, he I'm dead. My lord. My lord. My lord, with utmost respect, please, if I may be heard. Um, can we, excuse me, please, please. Can we have your attention, please? Uh... Uh, my lord, hey, my lord, uh, my lord, the the series of uh, the series of accusations and allegations from Mekudi is baseless and unfounded. I kept quiet and presented my case of withdrawal and refused to delve into that because I thought probably your lordship might still resist and insist on my presentation of uh, my petition. But since it is consented with, I think I'll make a little explanation regarding the position of Mekudi and why he is taking this position. Well, first and foremost, his uh, writing of petition and all those things were not masterminded by me at all. The only letter I wrote in respect of Mekudi was for his reinstatement, which I personally wrote and directed it to the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, and I copied the National Security Advisor, and uh, 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 I retained a copy with me and gave him money, transport money, to go and deliver these letters. I later took my telephone and phoned these various offices and they confirmed that they've received them. And why I have to write for his reinstatement into service is because all those of them who were arrested with us December 20th, 1997 and were discharged and acquitted were back to their offices. Mekudi is not a soldier. And I, I couldn't have seen the reason why they should get him out of service up till now floating. When I now got out of, when I was released from prison, and I established a small outfit in Kaduna. I went forward to keep him somewhere. I wanted to get him employment in textile company. But then I was advised by friends and good wishers that I should still impress him. There are a lot of things that have to be explained about Mekudi, but it is not proper for me to come before the wall and start talking about my junior brother. I don't understand. The essence of his, the essence of his moving down to Kano to grant interview at uh, Hadi Al Mustafa's house and so on was because I dismissed him from my company. And wh why I dismissed him was because he was indulging drugs and other things and beating up my staff. I spoke to him several times and to let him just pipe down and become a human being. But it was not working. It's not that we don't know him, but 
we wanted to manage him within you know the confine and the, uh, okay you know, okay can we you so know i think this thing is okay. okay no 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 you see the, it has become a a family feud now and yet the villain in this story if we understand if we remember in kano was alaji mustafa so it's not just a question of two of you settling your, your yes no no it, it's not a question of two of you certainly it's more than just a domestic quarrel al mustafa can i just fight because well, somehow, but, but the Matthew Hassan Kuka, born 31st August 1952, is a current bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Sokoto. Between 1999 and 2001, he served as a member of the Nigerian Investigative Commission of Human Rights Violation. In addition to his work as a parish priest of St. Andrew's Parish in Kakuri, Kaduna, from 2004 until his nomination as bishop, he was secretary of the National Political Reform Conference 2005, and from 2005 onwards, he has been serving as the chairman of the Ogoni Shell Reconciliation. Additionally, between 2007 and 2009, he also worked in the Committee for Electoral Reform set up by the Nigerian government. And extensively on this, with the permission of my learned senior, after the Kano sitting, there has been six interviews allegedly by the uh, Mekudi, which he said he didn't make. My Lord will remember that Tokoya copiously referred to one yesterday here, in which Mustafa was alleged to be pouring acid and putting people's back on it, and then they will wake up with the back, then he will give Bulala and whatever. All intended to run him down, but he said no problem, that his brother can give him all the abuses he wants. He doesn't have a problem. But that the, their own father, who he has held in high esteem, and whose mother has acknowledged the help Mustafa has rendered, and consequent upon that has gone on a war against uh, the second petitioner, and asking him reasons why he should go and do that of all people to Mustafa, brought about the beginning point for the reconciliation. And they have asserted to reconcile. But for record purpose, the petition has been mentioned, and we said, okay, fine. Those things were lawfully removed, and here are the documents showing that Mustafa never took one of the cars. Then there was equally another interview that those cars were meant for Abacha Association. Then we began to wonder whether Lexus could be used for campaign or something. We said, okay, when we come here, we will trash it out. But now that they have decided to settle, and I'm sure the mother is working seriously towards that one, and Mustafa has said, as far as Mohammed is concerned, he will continue to regard this as his brother and that he knows his existence, he doesn't want to bother. He is prepared to settle. And on his authority, I bring to the notice of this commission that we are prepared to settle. We want reconciliation and genuine reconciliation. Well, maybe it may be good to bring the two of them uh, so that my client can come near me and then confer. We may see the greatest of all reconciliations today. I think the commission should encourage that. Colonel Bako is the former military administrator of Akwaibom State. He was also arrested and charged for the Bosch 1997 coup, and he is a relative to both Major Hamza Al Mustafa and Major Biliamu. My lord, my lord, this is the former military administrator of Akwaibom State, Colonel Bako, the uncle to Major Mohammed. As I'm standing like this, my lord, the only response I want to make is to say that in life, you must be seen to be accused. You must be seen to be abused. Depending on circumstances, is Colonel Bako who recommended to me to take him as administrative officer in my department. Through my gesture, his own cousin came to the house. I regarded his father as my father. I treated his father just like my own father. I have not done to my own younger brother, male, next to me, he is seated here, what I have done to him. But yet, I have seen interviews, I have seen the petition, I laugh. My Lord, we must learn every day. 
when they abused me because they found themselves in coup, it was the circumstances surrounding the causes and genesis that put them to the coup that brought them where they were. For me to say there was coup today and I keep quiet, on oath, I will not. But for whatever step they take, if they want to go with the case, I am prepared. If they want reconciliation, I am prepared. Whichever one they do, their family... <laughs> my Lord, their family remains the same. Yesterday, my Lord, to show to you one thing. While we were here, Yomi Tokoye was here before he presented. The same Muhammad talked to him, gave him the magazine. I have a cassette on what he said right here. Audio. I don't, I sit there, I know, but I think I am walking. <laughs> just to show you, just yesterday. <laughs> but my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, with all respect, with all respect, this is a family. Colonel Bako, as he's standing here, he has his own anger on me. I understand, Ku 97. Mohammed has his own, I understand. But my Lord, never will be seen, nothing will be seen to be the same. Today, Tomorrow will surely come. That's all, my Lord. William, please. Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm my Lord, I'm sorry to intervene. I am like a senior brother to Mohammed. I am like a senior brother to Major uh, Al Mustafa. Mekudi asking what you call me, Uncle. I am standing in between. My petition is before the commission. I said I'm not going to appear. My Lord, three days ago, we saw General Olusegun Obasanjo. We saw Yaradua in Black Maria. Day before yesterday, it was Abiola in Black Maria. Yesterday, it was me, General Dia, General Larawaju in Black Maria. Today, it is Major Mustafa. <laughs> Today is General Mustafa, um, Major Mustafa, General Bameyi, and others. Tomorrow we don't know who we enter Black Maria. I have been in touch with my junior brother Hadi, and I have been saying. Let us withdraw this case. It's going to be a family affair. At the appropriate time, I want to assure you that I will call him and call Major Mustafa in my house in Kano and say to them, whatever has happened to us happened because God wanted it to happen. If God said no, nobody can do anything. So that's my case, my Lord. Thank you. want to hear the uh, mother, the woman, who is the mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear her. Let's hear her. Colonel Bako, the chairman wants to find out whether the young lady has something to say. Okay. Uh, hello? Okay, no, no, we don't want her to go away thinking that because she's a woman, she wasn't allowed a chance. That's why the chairman was interested uh, in finding out. My Lord, my Lord, to, to, save, to save your time, my Lord, to save your time, my Lord, to save the time of this commission, my Lord, uh, what has been said has been said by various speakers. Major Hamza Al Mustafa, Mayor Kudi, Colonel Bagu, and the rest. I have made my point clear, and uh, I have seen Major Mustafa prior to this very moment. I met him personally, and I accused him just for one thing. I, like Colonel Bagu put it, I am a Muslim, I believe in destiny. I am accusing Major Mustafa not just on my own case on the case of the entire Nigerians that are leveled against him. I told him that there is wisdom in apology. I told him that whether he has done all that is being said or not, 
The fact is that he did a lot of things. There was satanism and demonism. There was diabolism and people were ungodly. Most of the things that happened during the Abacha regime happened because people did not bring God to bear in their decisions. So a lot of things happened and went wrong. So what I'm saying, my Lord, I told him personally, between me and him and Lieutenant Colonel Yakase, I told him that the best thing he can do to the entire Nigerians and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to come forward and apologize. And if he, do, if he does that, we will be at the forefront of doing whatever to him, you know, to, to actually protect his interest. This is what I said. If he did not do that, even to go back to God and say he will apologize or pray, is a very difficult situation. Now, thank you very much. On that note, now on that note, Major Mustafa himself, in the witness box, talks about reconciliation. He mentioned it more than 20 times. Now, if this is what will aid reconciliation, he said just an apology. That's all. He said it obliquely in Lagos. If by my professionalism I've offended many people, I apologize. He wants this said clear and distinct. Yeah. Not conditionally. Not conditionally. But condi we know from the evidence that a lot of things happen. You said it. That people who come here are obeying orders. Those who gave the orders are over there. They have not been touched. Well, I don't know whether it's in Portacot or in uh, Lagos. Father Cook had mentioned about purging memory and the Pope going around apologizing for everything every other Pope did in the past. Not what he did, others did. So he's now saying just this simple apology and everything will be ordered. Not only for him, but for many, many Nigerians. Are you willing to go that far? No. My Lord, hold on, hold on somebody. But, but my lord, I thought he, my lord, I thought he needs to confirm, confirm with us. My lord, <laughs> the issue is simple. If I had not appeared, courtesy the petitions I have appeared before, nobody would have known the truth. There were instances whereby is the petitioners that should ask for, for forgiveness from me. In this case, the petition has not been heard. In this case, there are a lot of publications given against me. In this case, it's an issue that centers around betrayal of trust. There is so much to learn in it. But my Lord, for one to write a petition with terrible abuses, to be granting interviews with terrible sayings against me, I have not said anything. And yet, I'm just going to say, come and ask for forgiveness, my Lord. Even in the sight of God Almighty, that is wrong. What is right in the sight of God Almighty is to know, my Lord, if, if I know I have the right, I, I have every reason to ask for forgiveness from him, then, my Lord, I will say, I do. He came to Kuja prison. He said he didn't come to see me. I said, oh, how are you? We greeted, how is your wife? We greeted, his wife is here. I am, my Lord, the type, believe me, that has the heart to look at the enemy and sit with him. I'm not calling him enemy, but in this case, it is looking at the truth and calling it truth that matters. If, in, if he writes his petition and I don't have evidence to prove myself, and I know whenever I talk I'm on oath, certainly why not? Whatever he does to me, his father still remains my father. It's a matter of time. Whatever he does not understand today, tomorrow will come. He will surely get it understood. And one of the tomorrows is here, my Lord. So to me, whether he takes me to be an enemy or not, the brother position he was, right when he was a cadet in NDA, is still the same way as I'm seeing him. It's still the same way, no change whatsoever. There are many more. But to say, Mustafa, you are guilty. In which, in which case? So my Lord, with all respect, I said before, in Lagos, like you rightly quoted me, I asked for forgiveness on issues. 
even on behalf of my staff there are several things i do not know like the case that came up today on the uh, regarding mohammed abacha and one umar abu bakar umar yes it's the police under me that did the arrest he said rogers tortured him but did i know when he was arrested did i order rogers to beat him what really happened at the end of the case when witnesses are hard that petitioner will still come and say i'm sorry but he's not hard he wrote what only he perceived as far as my concern my lord my my heart is large it is accepting it is forgiven but whosoever accuses me i leave him to god and i wish him well no enmity whatsoever whatsoever every human being is a brother after all everything in life is undulating nothing is straight it is the undulating nature of life and the earth itself that makes men to learn depression and height you learn from the two and that's why we're here to admit that Major Hamza Mustafa is incredibly brilliant and cold and calculated. Well, eventually there was a reconciliation and um, this was one of the happy endings that we all hope for from the Oputa panel. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video with your friends and I'll see you in the next video. A witness, that is that likelihood, Major Mustafa will call me as a witness. There are certain things that happened Personally, between me and Mustafa, between me and General Abameyi, between me and Mohammed, I have decided to allow everything to go because I don't know where I will start and I don't know where I will end. That's why I am insisting and I'm begging that there should be a reconciliation between two of them. Let this case be withdrawn. Uh, Thank you, my lord. Uh, the, my oh, give, give, give her, let's hear her. She doesn't want to talk. Uh, women don't talk. Yes, sir. <laughs> my lord, I. They would run. I, I. My lord. My lord. I request. I request this honourable commission to compel Major Bilyamin to apologize to me for all he has been using me for years to the extent of making me to swear by the Holy Quran to say something that is not true. In just, he made me to swear by Holy Quran before General Victor Malu that the sum of $376,000, $75,000 mark and £25,000 salaries that the uh, money, counsel for the commission. money I does not know where he earns by the end of the day, he is calling me, microphone from them. describing me as a stupid, my could he, my could he wait. and prove that I'm a stupid. My could he hold on, hold it. Let him on come and prove. After he uses me, after he uses me to testify, my could he please allegations, a lot of allegations. We spent one hour on this. So We spent one whole hour. What's all this? Yes, let, let them leave the witness box. Everybody sit down. Uh, my lord, we are trying to close the case. Please take them out. Where are security men now? Mekudi, please leave the witness box. Go and sit down. Major, please go and take your seat. Major Bilamino, please take your seats. But my Lord, uh, we May are this be the last time you join cases. Don't join. Just get them one by one. We yes, did my them Lord. one by one. Yes, we have spent one hour on a case which we are told in chambers will be withdrawn and struck out. So don't join them again. 
call them one by one, we are joining them.